Hey guys, it's Prepare Scout Dad here. This is the newest addition to our little micro farm, our little homestead here. It's a male wabbit. Don't know what his name is, I forgot to ask, so I think we might just end up calling him Bugs. But he is going to be a new stud for us. My wife is already looking at him with Google eyes. He's already made a friend. Hey, Lizzie. And then there's the dum dum who uh, I think he wants to taste it, but it ain't gonna happen. But yeah. Figured y'all get a lot of videos about the chickens. Thought I'd uh, swap it up a little bit and give you a video of our stud, our new buck. And I know you're not supposed to name your livestock, but this is going to be our male stud, so he gets named. So that way we can get attached to him and not kill him until we have to. Looks like him and uh, Gus is going to be getting along pretty good. Is that or Gus is trying to figure out a way to get to it? There's Bagheera boy. Hey, buddy. Camera shy. Yeah. They say that a single pair of rabbits, average size, nothing special, not the California Giants, just a single pair, is what I read online. One pair of rabbits will give you 60 pounds of meat a year. So if we get two pairs, that's 120 pounds, so forth and so on. Now, of course, this is an average. Don't quote me on it. And, yeah, yes, the, the rabbit is in a dog kennel for now. Uh, Got to build him a new hutch. But uh, we're getting ready to make the move to Georgia, and this is going to be fine for for him for now but uh this is just another step that we decided to take to uh become more self self-sufficient more self-reliant and a new place to get our meat from and uh, we're not going to kill the rabbit we're going to kill his babies there's a difference so that being said, all I can say is, ooh, yeah, rabbit food. <laughs> you know it. Good times. All right. Now, uh, I want you all to keep in mind that when everything's gone, anything goes. Tomorrow belongs to those that prepare for it today. Peace. Love you. Mean it.